two birds for us a beautiful saddled stalk and there is a gray heron 88 that's wonderful but I'm so happy to see the saddled stalk hold on a second let me move forward a bit sorry Seb yeah. There it is. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's really, really wonderful. Oh, I thought I caught a glimpse of another bird. Hold on a second. Found, I think. Everyone, is it not the? Let's just see. Look at those. Sorry, so just sitting on that branch, the 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 dead tree straight ahead of us. The one on the on the right hand side that leads right up to the top. Um. Yeah, and up at no no sorry left 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 left. A little bit further left. The yeah, you know, so that that branch. Just look with your eyes. The, the that branch to the right hand side of the tree. So down a bit and right, right. There, that branch that you see now to the top. Yeah, up to the top. Up to the top. The two birds that were sitting there. They've just yeah. flown off. <laughs> X Ranger. Yeah. Um, that's the Petronia. That's a Petronia, I think. No, I think I saw a sparrow, which I don't have. It looked like a grey headed sparrow. I'm just trying to see if they, they fly back again. But um, I'll, I'll keep looking around. Let's enjoy these. Um, these saddlebolt stalks. Sorry, X Ranger, you were saying two more birds. And then we'll have 90, and I'll get a big um, high five. Was it high five or a fist pump from you? <laughs> fist pump. Thanks, X Ranger. Uh, yeah. So let's try our best. Love my. I have no idea about the stripe on that saddlebolt beak, uh, that black stripe across the beak. I don't know. I don't know if it uh, if it uh, serves a purpose at all. But it's so beautiful. Now, I just want to r read something about the saddlebolt stalks too, because they they are. Um, See, they, they're an uncommon resident, but they are listed as endangered. Now, remember we spoke yesterday about about the rare birds that we get in this area. So a saddlebolt stalk would be considered a rare bird because it's endangered. So it is really wonderful to see it. Now, they're usually in pairs, but... But um, I am... Um, I can't see another one around. Now let's see if this is a male or a female. I'm trying to look at the eye. This is a very yellow ring around the eye. So that would make it a female, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. But I believe that makes it a female with a yellow ring around the eye. And yep, it is indeed. It is indeed a female. So that's nice. I wonder if there isn't another one around somewhere. A lot of birds at the dam. Now oh, the 
colors of that stalk are beautiful. So it is really wonderful to see a stalk. But there's, there's so many birds here. I wouldn't be surprised if we could get another one or two. Maybe a weaver if we're lucky. Um, maybe one of those sparrows that I thought I saw. Camper, you asked if there are any spoonbills in Juma. No, I'm just trying to think of if I've seen a spoonbill out here before. I've seen, um, I've have seen in Kruger or in the Savi Sands. They do they do occur, but I'm trying to think if I've seen on Juma. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I... Oh, no, I don't think I've seen a spoonbill on Juma, but I don't know if one of the other guides may be. I'm not sure if James or Scott or one of those guys or Brent have possibly seen a spoonbill. I wouldn't be surprised if they have. They do occur in the Greater Kruger. It's just so lovely. Look at all the impala around here. This is a beautiful scene. Thank goodness we came to enjoy this because of the birds. Can you see it? There's a chin spot bat is calling. There's some starlings around. White crested helmet shrikes. A uh, great go away bird, Egyptian goose. Uh, Hardy dar ibis. There is three banded plover. There's a cape turtle dove. Orange breasted bush shrike calling in the distance. Amazing amount of birds at the moment around here. We have all of those on our list, which is good. We just need one or two more from there. Uh, those sparrows, I was hoping they would present themselves again, and maybe a weaver. Uh, Patty, you asked if this water hole dries up, would it be filled up by people that work in the area? Well, Patty, not this one, but there is a water hole just to the back of this dam um, that we, they, they do pump water there in, I think it's a little bit to the left, Seb, um, it's that little, um, no, it's that, that that section there, that dam, that little water hole. So that gets pumped water um, in very dry conditions if uh, this dam dries up completely. But for the moment, because there's still water around, there's no need. So there's no need. And it looks like it's still pretty deep, so I think this might last up until we get some rain, hopefully. <laughs> Keep looking around, scanning for more birds. So, Chastity, you asking if uh, the stalk or what it's trying to do with the sporadic movements? It's trying to it's trying to catch fish. That's what it's doing. It's trying to catch fish. So, it's lunging in the water and trying to catch little fish. It's not necessarily. It's not drinking. Just trying to see if it can possibly pick up on the movement of some fish in there. Oh, hang on a second. I don't think we've got those. I can hear green wood hoopoos. 
Now, Megan, if I'm not mistaken, we don't have green wood hoopoos on our list. I really don't think we do. Hang on a second, everyone. I think... Let's quickly have a look at the back here. Let's see if we can get those. And I thought I caught a glimpse of two larger woodpeckers, which are very possibly the golden-tailed woodpecker. So let's go have a look and see if we can add those two. Imagine I get another two bird species now. I might just do a, a flick-flack off the car. <laughs> Probably not, because I'll end up hurting myself. <laughs> and then there'll be no more birding. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for those green wood hoopers. Because we don't have those. That's another one. I actually thought about it the other day. Can't believe I forgot. It can be no flamingos aren't common in this area. Um, now let's just have a look here where these birds are. Now, I haven't seen flamingos up in this area before. They're not common at all. Where did those green wood hoopoos go to? It would be great if they just called again for us. But also, where are those woodpeckers that I saw? On this marula to my right, Seb. If you follow the main stem up, you see the first branch which yeah. branches off to the left and go up and the little one that goes off. There we go. Can we see that? That's a golden-tailed woodpecker, everyone. I think, is it? Is that red on that throat? It's a lot of red on the head. A lot of red. There's another one. If you just go further up, Seb, the next branch across, Uh, so, so just straight up where that bird was, straight up oh, okay. above it. There we go. There's another one. Let's see. Can you get a better view of that one? Oh, I'm trying to get on the screen. Yeah. Can I tell you? It'll just make life so much easier if they just called for us. And these woodpeckers, when you don't get a great view of the of the head, the coloration, because the the, I mean, the cardinal's much smaller, and the bearded, you know what, the bearded has got very prominent black markings down the throat. I just can't see if these ones have. And then the, the, um, the golden tailed, you should see a bit of red almost, just on the side. <laughs> Can anyone confirm that for me? <laughs> Oh, they just flew off. Maybe some of your screenshots are a bit clearer. And you could see them. Again, I think I'm I'm trying too hard to convince myself about the, the birds, the, the woodpeckers, if they're golden tailed or not. But um I, I just want to show you quickly. Um, so, look at the, the, I mean, again, these images aren't even that clear. Look at that golden-tailed woodpecker. So, do you see, you see it's got, I mean, this morning we saw the cardinal. It also has specks down the front of the chest, the, the, the um, greenish-white back. Golden-tailed is much bigger than the cardinal. But the golden-tailed has got red, you see, most of the head. And a bit of red marking under the throat there but you see this is different again you see there's not as much red around a bit of red on the head there you can see it it's very difficult very difficult now let me show you the other one quickly let me show you the bearded the bearded you should see the i mean you should see the black very clearly um on the 
throat and that's a nice view you should see that black very very clearly now i didn't see that when i had a look now at those woodpeckers that's why i think those are those were the golden-tailed woodpeckers two of them and i'm sure some of you would agree with me and there's also very prominent black behind the eye did you see that seb i did see the black behind the eye oh dear hold on <laughs> Let's see the um, golden tailed if it has a bit of black behind the eye. No, not really. A little bit. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult though. The, the light, you see the light when they're moving around, and you don't see this part of the face very clearly for the golden tailed and the bearded. Um, you should see, I mean, let's look at the, the uh, golden tailed and then the bearded. Bearded doesn't have, no, you see, there was, oh, you see, I didn't see the front. No, that was golden tailed because just something else you should have a look at is look on the bearded. It's got almost like barring on the front of the chest. Sorry, see, is that okay? There. You see the barring on the front of the chest? Do you see that? Now the golden tailed has got like streaks, specks, almost like that cardinal that we saw this morning. So if you are able to see the chest or breast of these birds, just have a look if it's got the barring or the streaks. If it's got the streaks, it was definitely the golden tailed woodpecker. So we'll just have a look out for that too. All right, so now let's go across all the way to the Mara again to my friend Scott. Find out how his morning's going and is he heading back for breakfast yet?